Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today is just a really, really quick video. Um, I'm just going to show you a really quick way of tea staining the back of your papers. If you've already printed out your digital kits um, and you wanted to have sort of like a tea stain, coffee stain background, I'm going to show you how a really, really quick way on how to do it. Now, I tea stained all of these um, in a video and then when I went to look back at it, I deleted it instead of watching it. So that was a bit silly. So I'm going to do a couple more for you, but it doesn't affect the um, front side of it, um, especially if you're using an inkjet, inkjet printer, because when you get them really wet, they start to, to go all blurry and smudgy. Um, but this way it's really, really quick and easy. So I've done all those. So I've got these, which are some of my backing papers, which I think the colours will go really well with the um, vintage botanical ones which I'm going to be making a journal with so all I've got I've got a little pot of coffee here now I just use granulated instant coffee because I don't drink coffee so I've just bought a cheap one I've got a big paintbrush um, so I'm just going to dip a little bit in there just oopsie daisy don't want your brush too wet and then all you do, brush it over really nice and quickly. Get a tissue or a cloth, whoops, and then just wipe it off. Just like that, quick and easy. And then that colours the paper and it doesn't affect the other side. So you just leave that to dry. Just, you can pop it in the oven if you want to pop it in the oven. You can iron it however you like or just leave them flat to dry. Um, and it's so, so simple, so quick. I normally do mine out in the garden, but obviously it's winter. It's cold, damp and wet here. Um, I know a lot of you have got lots of snow, which I'm a bit jealous about because we've just got dreary, damp weather. Um, so... This is a good way of doing it, really quick and simple, just like that, and it's just brilliant. So let me just finish off the last two, like this, just a tiny bit, you don't need an awful lot. If you want it a little bit darker, obviously um, do it once, dry it, and then go over it again. But um, this way it's just so, so simple. Just rub all, all the way down, rub it off and then let's like that. Look at my nails, I was playing with some of my Tim Holtz Distress ink sprays today and I opened one up and spilt it and I had blue ink absolutely everywhere. So I've made a really big mess today and it sort of like gets stuck in my nails. So yes, I spent half an hour cleaning up the mess, but there we go, never mind. So there we go guys, how simple is that? Just like that, leave them to dry, get them somewhere so it's nice and flat. So they're flat, I normally just sort of like give them a quick blast with my heat gun, just so that it takes that dampness off and then run the iron over them. And this is what they come out like, so they're all nice just like that, all ready to make your journals with. And then when you've got your papers like this and you fold them in half, you haven't got that white paper. Some people like the white paper, but I quite like it. So it's um, a bit more sort of vintage and shabby, I think. And I think they look really, really lovely. So there we go, guys. That's a, just a quick little video, just in case you didn't know how to do it. I know a lot of you do. Um, but we have so many, I have so many newbies um, joining the um, the YouTube channel, Happiness and Crafting, that I thought maybe one of you might like to know how to do it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.